All right, so we're going to get through this one really quickly. We're looking at the inverse normal standard distribution. Uh, so um, let's just jump straight into it. The probability that Z is greater than C is equal to 0 0.7. Now, first of all, I'm just using Z because that's the letter we use when we're using a standard normal distribution. Um, now, the probability that Z is greater than C is equal to uh, 0 0.7. Now, what does that mean? All right. So we've got a uh, normal distribution here. Uh, we'll put a zero there. Now, for something to be uh, greater than C and for the probability to be 0 0.7, that means that um, it would have to be an entire half of the normal distribution plus some more. Um, now, it's greater than C, so that means that C has got to be on this side, right? Because for it to be greater than, I'm going to uh, shade in this bit here. Um, and that has to be 0 0.7, what I've shaded. Okay, um, now let's do this on a, if that didn't make a lot of sense, don't worry, because we're going to talk about that again when we use the calculator right now. All right, stats. So we're going to go into the stats mode, we're going to go into distributions, normal distributions, and we're going to do an inverse normal. Okay, all right. Now, the next first thing it asks us is tail. Do you want a right tail, a left tail, or a central tail? Now, what it means by tail is what half of the graph are you shading? Are you shading off to the right? Are you shading off to the left? Or are you shading the middle section? We're going to do all three in this video. In this video, in this question, we've got a right tail because you can see it starts here and it heads off to the right. So right tail, the area 0 0.7, and then it's a standard normal distribution, so one and zero for the standard deviation and the mean. Okay, uh, we just execute that. All right, and I get an answer of negative 0 0.52. And that number here is negative 0 0.52. Therefore, C equals negative 0 0.5244. And again, you should write in whatever you typed into your calculator there. I'll just copy and paste it. All right, so that's that question. This next question here, uh, let's take a look at it. You can probably guess what's going on. The probability that Z is less than C is equal to 0 0.4. All right, so again, drawing a normal distribution with a zero, a middle there, that should be symmetrical. Um, Z is less than, so it's going to be heading off to the left this time. So this one's going to be a left tail, uh, and its probability is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is less than 0 0.5. So whatever this C value is, it would have to be on this side again, right? Because that area that I've just shaded will be 0 0.4. If it was more than, if it was 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 or 0 0.9, then the C wouldn't be there. The C would be like over here somewhere. All right, so here we are. Tail, this time it's going to be a left tail. The area is going to be 0 0.4 and 1 and 0. And I'll draw it. And again, I get an answer of negative 0 0.25. So therefore, C equals negative 0 0.2533. Now, obviously, if I got a positive answer, I'd be really worried here uh, because I sort of reasoned out that I was going to have a negative answer before I started. Now, again, make sure that you copy this stuff here so your examiners know what you're doing. And, of course, that brings us to our last question. The probability that negative C is less than Z, which is less than C, is equal to 0 0.8. Uh, now, in this case, what we get is a mean of 0 and then a symmetrical C value, right? So a C value here and a negative C value there, and it's symmetrical either side, and the area between them, so Z is going to be between negative C and C, and the probability of being there is 0 0.8. All right, so now we get this odd thing, a uh, central tail, doesn't make a lot of sense, a central tail, um, area of 0 0.8, um, one, zero, and we can calculate that. Okay, and obviously I'm going to get two answers here. So um, C is uh, negative 1.2815 and 1.2815.
Now, I don't want to know negative C and C. I'm just trying to solve what C is. So I can say C is equal to um, 1.2816. Okay, and again, copy and paste that in so they know what you're talking about. All right, so that is the inverse normal distribution on your calculator. It's fairly straightforward. Make sure that you know how to draw those pictures so you can start to reason out whether what you're doing is making sense or not.